Hey guys, Sam from Mountfus Makes and Moose Mike. So welcome back to all our returners and hi to any newbies. It's so great to have you here. Please do stick around a while and if you like what you see, give us a thummy. They are free. Notice anything? Do you? Do you? Notice anything? I worked hard last weekend. We'll get to that some other point. You are here on a Thursday and here on a Thursday it is Tile of the Week. <laughs> Good boy. <laughs> Rolo wanted to join in. That is our little dog, if you are not familiar. He's called Rolo. He likes to sing with us. Anyway, tile of the week, we say. What is that, you ask? Well, a year ago, in July. I was gifted this book, 100 Crochet Tiles, edited by Sarah Cullard. I received it through my Amazon wish list. Got mine from Amazon. I'm sure you can get it many other places. And no, I'm not sponsored or affiliated. But if you want one, that's one place you can look. In my excitement of opening this book, I was going to say wonderful book. That opinion has changed since when I opened it. <laughs> um, I made the verbal pledge that I was going to make all 100 tiles one a week till it was done. Didn't do the maths. A lot of you laughed at me for a couple of days until the penny dropped. Penny dropped. This is going to be going for two years. We're nearly halfway through, guys. Yay! <laughs> so yes, Mike and I are doing all 100. This week, it is week 48, or tile 48. Two away from the halfway point. We are plugging along and we are still doing it and we endeavour to complete this mission I will not be failing I know I will not be failing <laughs> it's questionable with that one but we'll see let's enjoy him while he's here and if ever he does give up then I will get a recording of him on my phone singing Tile of the Week Thursday and then I'll just play that for you because you yeah. all love the singing bit so yes, we are on week 48, and this week's tile was called Delft Blues. The designer was Katie Moore. She recommended three colours of a DK or light worsted yarn and a four millimetre hook. We both used DK light worsted yarn. We both used a four millimetre hook. Mike used his clover. I, on the other hand, used a dot. And I was so paranoid that I was just going to say I used my clover because that's what I normally use. But I didn't. I used my 4mm clover and it was an enjoyable hook to use. Highly recommend. Much more cost effective than clover. Pretty similar. Just a little FYI. Okay, so there was how many rows? 13 rows of this one. <laughs> and it's really awkward where they have put the picture because they can't show any pattern but that is what we attempted to make delft blues because there is pottery called delft and they use blue shades so i totally get it and that squiggly wiggly could be porcelain of some description i understand the name of the tile now we didn't have any real problems other than the chain tens now those that are following along with us will know exactly what we mean by the chain tens nowhere in that pattern does it tell you whether the chain needs to remain on the front of the work or at the back of the work we've got to guess i naively assumed that if you're supposed to put the chain to the back of the work it would tell me for me to do so so i left it at the front we both did big mistake not what you're supposed to do so anyone who writes square patterns or is thinking of at some point please 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 write your patterns as if it is someone so brand new to crochet they need to know every little detail because it would really help it would really really help <laughs> that you literally assume that someone's going to pick up your pattern and not have the experience or the assumption to just shove it at the back because i said to mike normally we put these at the back but it doesn't tell me to so i don't know so because it hasn't told me to 
and I assume they would do if that's what they want, we're going to leave them on the front. Caused a little bit of a headache. We managed to fudge it to make it work because I do have enough experience to be able to fudge these things. However, please, 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 any designers or pattern writers out there who may just stumble across this video, and especially if your name's Katie Moore, put the instructions in the pattern, please. It would make <laughs> it so much easier. So apart from the chain 10 that we had to wrangle behind like the next three or four rows that we added, to get it where it needed to be for the pattern to show how it was supposed to, we managed okay. And we did 11 rounds in one night and only had two the following night. So it didn't encroach too much on our other crochet time for a change, which is absolutely fabulous. I did not go for blues. Mike did, kind of. Um, I wanted fire. So his is more water with a well maybe earth watery earth combined mine's sand. fire mine's fire so water and sand colors yeah that's the colors but if you look thinking of elements there's no sand element it's earth water fire and air isn't it so for the elements it would be earth and water anyway i digress apart from the chain 10 we didn't really have a problem um, a little bit fiddly in places, I think it's fair to say. Um, you all know by now that Mike and I are pretty much over this whole thing. But we do it out of stubbornness and the fact that you guys love it. You love it. It is our most successful segment. And we want to give you guys what you love. That's, you know, part of the deal of being a content creator, right? Loads of you have said just stop nobody's gonna think bad of you if you're not enjoying it don't do crafting that you don't enjoy it should be something you love um but the guilt would eat away at me because i made a promise and i didn't stick to it and where i can even in private life if i make a promise i do my utmost to keep that promise and i'm also, too stubborn also just gonna add to that we are content content creators we also love creating content yeah so, and this is a regular segment. This is one video a week. I don't have to pre-plan other than make it to show you. Mm. So it helps me out one day of a week to know that I'm doing that every week, just like Crochet Catch Up and our live on a Saturday. So it organises life. It, yeah, and I'm too stubborn to be defeated. Mm -hmm. And you guys so love it, so and I want to give you <laughs> what you love. So that is why we are continuing on with this endeavour. Um, if you can hear clicking buttons, Max is over there playing on his computer, but he's being quiet by not chatting to his friends. So, you know, turn a little blind eye. He is having his chill time after a busy day at school. And it's a sports day tomorrow, uh, today when you're watching this, actually. So uh, wish him well in his little races. Um, yes, so we showed you what it should have looked like. You're going to show them yours? Bosh. There you go. I don't know why my voice did that. There's mine. Yep. Colours are not accurate, but no, it's close enough. The lighter blue, that one, is more of a greeny, aquary. And the minty. darker blue is more like a petrol, petrol blue rather yeah. than a, it looks royal blue on there. But it's not. But I always take a photo of our tiles and put it on our community tab. And while I'm talking about the community tab, guys, I always. <laughs> <laughs> the dog wants to play. Mm. Rolo, it's not the time to play, I'm afraid. Just give me a minute. Um, <laughs> I would try and grab it to show you what toy he's got, but he's not one that leaves his toys. He runs away when you try and grab it. He's, he's old and silly. Anyway, what was I saying? Community tab. Josephine, the beautiful Josephine, she doesn't have content, but she sends in a picture of her tile every week religiously for me to share for you all you lovelies to see her beautiful work. But she has gone above and beyond this week. Not only has she done tile 48, which is the one we're doing, she's done two catch-up tiles as well. So she's got three tiles to showcase this week. Well done, Josephine. She's told me she now only has 16 catch-up ones to go until she's like right, Ooh. right there with us. Because I never started this as a crochet along. I started it as an excitement, didn't realise what I was saying, got sucked into it. 
but along the way so many lovely people have joined in some of them have started from the beginning some of them have jumped in part the way through and are going to do the tiles to catch up or they're just going from that point on with us um which is absolutely fine because like i said it was never a crochet along the fact that any of you want to do it with me blows my mind because it's a big undertaking if you want to know who's joining in along with us just in the top of the youtube search bar type hashtag tile of the week thursday and anyone who has used that hashtag will pop up and you will literally have hours of tile videos to watch should you wish but it is always interesting to see how other people have done theirs what problems they encountered what they found a breeze mm. what color choices they use for different yeah. inspiration and you get to see two different colors on this video yes but there are many many more many 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 more and actually even if you have no intention of making these tiles we might actually show one or one of the other lovelies joining in might show one and you go oh, never thought to put those colors together i'm doing that in a blanket or i'm gonna do a sweater mm. whatever you want as inspiration especially so, from me because i picked some really odd colors there have been some <laughs> color choices from Mike to be fair but then I don't always pick great ones we, we're using our scraps if you didn't know we have a big clear bin full of scraps down in this corner actually do you want to go for a little ride I'll try and do as much as I can because I've actually got a tidy corner now and that is very uncle um <laughs> foreheads yeah I know <laughs> where that mannequin head is underneath it that clear bin is full of all of our yarn scraps and those are what we use for our tile of the week that's a beautiful hug that I got from a beautiful friend. And that is now my tidy, organised corner that you don't really ever get to see because it's normally a dumping ground and much messier than that. And like I said at the beginning, it's all changed. I was a very busy bee. Anyway, so mine. Wow, that is blown right <laughs> out. Oh, <laughs> blinding. It. It's so bright, you can't see the stitches. <laughs> so I have got like a pumpkin orange. I have got um, a darker red that's verging on like a light burgundy. And then I do have a real bright fire engine red that oh, is looking one, orange. Yeah. It's not that bright. I mean, it is bright, but it's not as bright as my camera's picking up so go check fire. out <laughs> fire go check out the community tab because a better color representation will be in that photo and you will get to see josephine's this week and two catch-up <clears throat> ones josephine you are amazing you're flying thank you so so much and thank you for taking the time and effort yeah. to do catch-up ones as well i would have just joined when i did and gone from there i wouldn't have bothered with the ones before but i appreciate the fact that you have um, and like I said, for anyone else that's doing it, you need to type in hashtag Tile Week Thursday into your search bar and you'll have probably weeks worth of viewing pleasure of all these tiles. And thanks to everyone that is joining on. It's also knowing that you're joining in along with us that keeps us motivated to keep yeah. doing it. Because if we were still going solo, I reckon this section would have finished a long time ago because we would have just gone, what's the point? I'm done. <laughs> but we've got so many of you invested in it, whether as a viewer or a participant, that we can't throw in the towel. We're not going to throw in the towel. I refuse. <laughs> there are days where we go, yeah. it's time. And we're like, ah. Uh yeah but but we still do it we still do it so next week what is to come next week well i can tell you it is mindful mandala or mandala however you say it and it's katie moore again <laughs> she is asking for six different colors again lightweight lightweight three or dk and again a four millimeter uh, special stitches this time are two double crochet bobbles, four double crochet bobbles, and four double crochet popcorns. I think Katie Moore is right underneath Patty Risdale right now. <laughs> and one of the other people joining in said the same thing last week. So I think after this week's and next week's, they will have her right up there, side by side with Hattie Risdale. And if you don't know the Hattie Risdale saga, go back and watch some of the ones that are by Hattie Risdale. You'll understand. We're not her biggest fans. 
I'm sure she's a lovely lady. We don't like her tiles. <laughs> don't do it. <laughs> and that is what we are aiming for next week. Yep, those glaringly obvious bubbles and popcorns. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Can't wait. <laughs> and it's going to be 16 rounds, so a That's bit bigger. A two day, yeah. I think it's going to be. Mind you, this weekend, the boys are with their dad. And although I'm working, we normally get an earlier start on these Sundays. Yeah, but even so, though we get an earlier start, sometimes these bigger ones still take two days. I'm still going to try and smash it out in the one day. But we'll see. We'll see how it goes. You will see how it goes next week yes. if you tune in again next week. Because it's every Thursday. And it will be every Thursday till the book's done. So... There's still loads more to come from this one book. When we have completed this one book, Mike wants to burn it. <laughs> I've said no, it's going to be retired to the shelf where it will gather dust forever more. See, I'm, I'm moaning about it now, but it does teach me a few things yeah. that I need to learn. Yeah. It's also teaching me how to fudge. Yeah. Because I'm getting very good at that. Yeah. <laughs> but... We haven't even got to the worst parts yet, so... We're just going to keep going. Yeah. Just going to keep going, and we are not going to let you down. I am dreading the mosaic. It's not as hard as you think. Good. Honestly. If you can do a double and a single, you can do mosaic. It's just knowing where to put your stitches and reading a graph. So, you'll be all right. Mm -hmm. You will be. And you've got me guiding you. It's not like you're doing it all on your own on a whim. No, no, no. When I do it on my own on a whim, it goes wrong. Totally wrong. You wait until I had a mantrum yeah, last night. I was gonna say you wait until crochet catch up tomorrow when we tell you about his mantrum. Well, if I'm even in it. Yeah, it's all right. I'll fill you in. <laughs> I'll tell you the story. I'll squeal. I don't care. I'm the one that has to put up with the mantrums while they're happening. You guys don't. You hear about it afterwards, but you're not there while it's happening. Goodness gravy. Anyway, so. There we have it. Week 48 done and dusted. Week 49 on the cards, ready for next week. Tomorrow will be crochet catch-up as normal. Don't know what I've got planned for Saturday. I think I might do one of my... Oh, look how I've rearranged my cubes again, guys. So if you want a little tour of my new cubage situation, then that will probably be what's coming on Saturday. And then, of course, later on on Saturday will be our live. And then I don't know for Sunday. I'm just winging it here, guys. You know I wing it. But I always give you daily content. Always, always. Unless there's something seriously wrong. Oh, can I just mention? Well, I can because you haven't got any way of stopping me unless you click off the video. And if you do, that's fine. Um, I don't know if any of you have been aware over the last 24, 48 hours of the hype that has surrounded... Llama Mama Kayla and Cinnamon Stitches. Can I just say that they are two beautiful, strong and amazing women. And what they have both achieved is phenomenal. And I take my hats off to both of them. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you need to go and check out Llama Mama Kayla's video and Cinnamon Stitches short I'll try and link them if I can, but I'll probably forget, so don't rely on me. But in a nutshell, a day or two ago, Kayla came on with Big Daddy, Jody, her husband, saying how she's been trying for ages to save up a dental fund to get much needed dental treatment. Because with all of her health complaints and medications and um, chronic illnesses, her teeth are crumbling out of her mouth. Bless her. It's not due to lack of care or attention. It is to do with her illnesses and some medications and the fact that, unfortunately, she does vomit quite a lot because of one of the illnesses that she has. So they have literally just crumbled away. She came on in such a heartfelt video saying that she is embarrassed to get in front of the camera every day to make videos for us because of the state of her teeth. Not one person has ever given her a comment about her teeth. Who would? 
unnecessary and it's Kayla herself who we love, not her appearance or anything like that. Anyway, so Big Daddy has been making mugs that has her catchphrase on it. It's a beautiful day to crochet and put them in um, Kayla's Etsy shop and they were specifically to put towards this fund for her dental treatment. Well, of course, we all went mental. We all ordered as quick as we can. And it's caused Kayla's Etsy shop to be shut down because it's had, you know, a trickle of traffic to poof. And they don't know. They have to verify that it's not a scam. It's not any of this. There's nothing untoward, which mm -hmm. I'm sure they will sort out. And Mike doesn't know this, but I went to look at how much one of the mugs would cost for me. Because obviously I'm in the UK, Kayla's in the US. For me to get one of Kayla's mugs with shipping and everything would have cost me £50 for a mug. And we have so many mugs in this house. I don't need a mug, but I wanted to help Kayla. So I was a bit sneaky sneaky. I've got a lot of Yarny friends that live in America. They can order it and get it shipped to them for a lot less. And then the next time they send us Happy Mail, it can go in that box. So, Manda Panda. Thanks. Oh, I'm getting a Kayla cup. And it saved me an awful lot of money. So, Panda, thank you. Kayla, thank you. But most of all, Big Daddy, you're the one. He's making them himself. He's not outsourcing it. He is putting the writing on the cup, baking them and shipping them. He's doing it all for Kayla because he wants Kayla to get her treatment. Cool. I don't know if you're watching this, Kayla, but please don't ever, ever, ever feel embarrassed or feel like nobody wants to watch you because of your teeth, darling. It, that is insignificant to us. We love you because you're a beautiful, strong person and we love your content. We love your channel. That's why we keep coming back. And then Cinnamon Stitches comes in because she puts out a shout out on her channel saying you need to go over and buy the mugs but she was also a little bit sneaky sneaky because a lot of us have tried to persuade Kayla to set up a GoFundMe. Kayla has said no, she's a very proud woman, she doesn't want charity, she wants to earn the money, save the money, pay for the treatment. Totally understand, totally get it. Cinnamon Stitches, Jennifer, went behind her back, set up a GoFundMe anyway, and they have completely blown their target well out the water. So Kayla can get a new teeth! And they did it in less than 24 hours. So not only am I getting a Kayla cup made by Big Daddy, <laughs> excited, <laughs> but Kayla gets her new teeth in less than 24 hours because her beautiful best friend, Cinnamon Stitches, did exactly what she didn't want her to do, but did it anyway because she loves her. And now everyone's a winner. Sometimes for your best mates, you have to go against their wishes to get the job done. So I don't even care if Kayla's mad at Jennifer because she gets her teeth. Jennifer helped her along the way and Big Daddy making all them cups. He's got over 300 cups to make and ship out <laughs> because of us crazies that want one of these mugs. Like literally jumped on it. So... With all of that to say is I planned to do a plea at the end of this video. Go and buy a mug. Help Kayla get her teeth. Do all the things because she said she wouldn't mind other podcasters or content creators, you know, directing people to her Etsy shop to maybe purchase if they can. Jennifer blew it out the water with a GoFundMe she didn't even want. And now I don't have to do the plea because the target's already been met. They've already got all the money they need. <laughs> and... It's a very, very happy day. It is a beautiful day to crochet. And I'm not Kayla, and it's not my catchphrase. But what a beautiful day to crochet today. Just saying. And Kayla, I can't wait. I hope you get through all the procedures relatively pain-free and quickly. Jennifer, I doubt you're watching. But if you are, thank you for helping Kayla and going against her wishes. Everyone deserves a friend like you. We really, really do. And this community, all of you that bought a mug, or all of you that donated to the GoFundMe to make Kayla get her treatment. Thank you so much because she deserves it. She deserves, she deserves everything good in life. Both of those ladies do and you guys made it happen and that is one of the reasons why I love this community so much. I also love you because you come and watch us do this once a week, which, <laughs> listen, in, which in comparison... Listen to my singing skills. Exactly. Which in comparison <laughs> is completely irre irrelevant. But I just wanted to give the love to all of our community that has helped. 
everyone that spread the word and everyone that had a hand in making that happen because Kayla is one of the most deserving people mm -hmm. to receive that help and generosity because she is so generous to everybody else around her. So it's nice to pay her back. And Jennifer, oh, I wish you were my best friend. Anyway, <laughs> before it gets creepy, let's wrap this up. Thank you again so, so much, not only for listening to all of that, but for coming and watching this and giving us 25 minutes of your time today. Do come back tomorrow for Crochet Catch Up. I'm telling you now, there's not going to be a lot to see because it's not been a very successful crafting week in the Mountford household, I'm afraid. But we will show what we've got, if anything. If not, you'll have me in front of the camera just burbling again. I'm just going to um, put out a little seed. I was doing an amigurumi. Yeah. I... You've had a disaster. Yeah. Leave it there. They just need to know you've had a disaster. I've had a disaster. And you know that shawl I was making, the OM Granny Square shawl? The blue one with the twister with all the knots and the bath. I had a disaster with that as well. <laughs> Honestly, it has been drama centra, central here at Mountford's Mates. There's not a lot to show, but there's a lot to talk about. So even if we're not showing you loads of lovely crochet stuff, we'll be talking about a lot of crochet disasters. <laughs> so if you want the gossip, come tomorrow and find out. But until then, stay safe. Be kind. Look after one another. Get some good quality time in, we love one. Get some good quality crafting time in. <laughs> He's questioning that. <laughs> <laughs> we will see you in the next one. Or around the YouTube street. Bye, guys. Bye. Don't forget the community tab. Love you loads.